Why don't you do a focus breakdown video on rotations? I think I'll do that for the next video. Two weeks later. Say, don't you have a video to do? Oh sh! Oh sh! You're right. All right, hey guys, sorry for such a late video upload. I've been really busy with PMPL North America casting, and of course, I got a shout out to ESL for sponsoring these videos, these focus breakdowns. And so without further ado, let's get into one of the most difficult topics to cover, that is rotations. All right, guys, for this week's focus breakdown, we will be covering one of the most requested topic of analysis, rotations. Now, the reason why I haven't done a focus breakdown on rotations is because it is one of the most basic, but at the same time, most advanced topics to cover because there are so many, many, many factors to consider. But we all have to start somewhere, so let's start with the basics. Now, the first step to mastering down rotations is to understand the circle shift dynamics. Now, circles commonly hard shift in a game of PUBG and learning to take advantage of these hard shifts is crucial in maps like Miramar and Erangel where vehicles are readily available. Maps like Sandhawk, rotations are far less flexible and you will often find yourself on foot. So for today, we will be looking at a game of Miramar and where the rotations there are the most difficult given its unforgiving terrain. All right, guys, so let's take a look at this circle shift here. The previous circle was circle two, and this new circle is circle three. So circle three is the most crucial circle to get in a good wrapping rotation in case it hardships. Teams on the hardship side can take advantage of a favorable hardship by exploring options that are more central on the new circle as it is likely to be open teams that were centered in the previous circle, regardless of the direction of the hard shift, can plan a careful rotation more central on to circle three. Teams that are on the far edge of the new hard shift circle can do a wrapping rotation onto the hard shift side. A good rotation in circle three can set a team up for the next rotation when circle four comes. As a circle continues on, it will get increasingly difficult to make use of rotations. Remember, scouting and good pathing on rotations is always a must whenever making any sort of rotations. Take special note of Team Unity here that is on the hard shift side of Circle 3. This will come into play later. Alright guys, time for another pop quiz! On which circle shift is it most crucial to get a good rotation in? So as circle three closes, notice how this side of the circle becomes very congested with teams, whereas the opposite side, the hard shift side, the circle is much more open. This is a very common occurrence in PUBG Mobile and learning to adapt to hard shifts will give your team a big advantage. This strategy will vary depending on the circles and as your team improves and start to face better opponents, they might also be utilizing the same strategy. Now, towards the very final circle, we do have two teams facing off with each other, and it is none other than Team Unity facing off with Team LGV in a 2v2 situation. Team Unity do end up claiming the chicken dinner along with nine kills, but taking advantage of the hard shift was only one element of their success in this game. All right, just to recap guys, that teaches you how to make use of the circle hardships, but there's so much more to get into, such as where to edge into, how to fight your way into the edge of the zone, what kind of rotation pathings to take, 
So like, there's a lot more to cover, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. And until then, Z Nation out. I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching, and thank you guys for supporting me. Thank you.